these programs are there to help keep kids off the streets and out of trouble after school. We have programs that aren't offered um, anywhere else. I'm the executive director with the Phoenixville Area Police Athletic League. I'm also a police officer with the Schuylkill Township Police Department. I'm going on 20 years of service with the department. In June of 1999, I started a, a PAL chapter. We never had a PAL here in Phoenixville. PAL is a juvenile crime prevention program, and that's what it's pretty much designed to do, give the kids a place to go after school. And we started out with a boxing program and um, we took in a bunch of kids our first year and it was a really successful program. So from that program, we eventually branched out to offer some other programs. On the sheet, and we're gonna go through a few of these things, are some more common things you might face when you're babysitting, okay? If you're babysitting, kids fall down, they get bumps and bruises, right? Yeah, I've actually been teaching the babysitting program for about 12 years in partnership with the Police Athletic League for, we think, around eight. We actually lost track, but it's been a really good program. Um, gives kids an opportunity to learn how to take care of themselves as well as take care of other people's children. What if you only climb up, like, the first frames and crawl on Okay, well, then you're going to need to decide what, if the child's okay. Is it something that we can just ice down, it's just got bruised, it's not a big deal? They really are in, interested in learning how much they can know, soaking in the knowledge so they can be prepared to be better babysitters. If a child does fall from any kind of height though, so if they climbed the tree and they fell out of the tree, you're going to want to call for help. We always use Officer Diori's kids as an example because they're doing pretty good making some money with the skills that they've learned through babysitting. Uh, we have been teaching this clinic for approximately 10 years. Bobby Bohr, the golf pro here at Pickering Valley Golf Course in Phoenixville, and I run the uh, PAL program. It's a six-week program that we run here. It kind of goes from soup to nuts. Uh, over the six-week program, we'll go through the stance, the grip, the alignment, the entire swing of it with, with the golf club. Uh, I think the nicest thing working with them is many of the kids that come here really don't have the opportunity to get to a major championship golf course like Pickering Valley and have an opportunity be, to be exposed to the class. They also have the opportunity to um, learn uh, the rules and the etiquette and how they should behave here at the golf course. It's all about building character. What it takes to be a wrestler is dedication, and commitment, uh, loyalty, teamwork. I've been with the Phoenixville PAL wrestling program for about five years now. This is my second year running the program as uh, the president of uh, the wrestling league. We have 52 kids in the program. We would love to have more. Wrestling teaches kids uh, a whole lot of things to be uh, hopefully successful in life. Yeah, the programs are run by volunteers. Yeah, I love working with the kids. It's a lot of fun. Uh, most of our programs are free. There might be a sign-up fee in the beginning, but basically, um, if a kid can't afford to sign up, we uh, we sponsor them as well. So between the ages of uh, 10 and 21, the kids can sign up. It's open to all boys and girls between those ages, as long as they do good in school and stay out of trouble. I want to take everything I learned from that old man to the grave, so I want to give it to these kids. <laughs>